Hello everyone, thank you very much for clicking and for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is the free game collection. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you stay around and join us. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Hope you've had a good week. Hope you've been looking after yourself. I'm very happy. Look at this. Look at this nice big stack. The car boot was on again, which is fantastic. Well, the Saturday was. The Sunday got washed out again, but the Saturday car boot, luckily I went to that one. I was just going to do Sunday. Good thing I didn't because it got washed out. But I've got a lovely big stack here. Um, it wasn't as bad this week. There wasn't as many buyers. Still not as many sellers just yet. Still still sort of slowly breaking in, but there wasn't as many buyers. So there was a little less competition than this week than there was last week, which is fantastic. So Got a nice big stack here. Look at that. I've missed my big stacks again. So I'm really, really chuffed to show you what I've got. Um, uh, charity shops, useless. Absolutely not. Couldn't find a single thing. Um, so I got really lucky that I did go to that car boot. Otherwise, I probably just had to give this week a miss, to be honest with you. But charity shops was a washout. Um, I got one thing from Smith's, which I'm quite happy about. Really happy. We'll, we'll start that. I'll tell you what, let's stop talking. Let's crack on. So I've got quite a lot to show you. And I know this is what you're interested in, not just me jabbering. Um, so first, I got this from Smith. This was discounted for a fiver. Lovely and sealed. NBA 2K23. So this isn't the most latest. The 24 is out. I do love my basketball, as you probably know. I've, well, I'm sorry, I've usually got a basketball out on. I don't today, for weirdly enough. But I picked this up for the sole intention of playing it. Five pound, fantastic. I usually wait for the the latest, the, the you know, the previous game to drop down in price before I start playing because I just play the career modes and things. So I don't play online because I just get destroyed. So uh, five pound for me sealed. It's sealed now because I've, I picked it up not too long ago. I'm just finishing playing up where I'm finishing just finishing up what I'm playing, that's what I wanted to say, but this won't remain sealed, this is going to be open, and I'm going to enjoy playing this one, so £5, absolutely fantastic, can't wait to get started on that, going to see what the career mode's got this time, that was it, all of this is the Saturday car boot, so let's start, so this was a pound apparently, oh yes, Wii Sports, he had this with a bunch of, um, uh, the Wii was sitting there, and I, I didn't want the Wii, but this was just sitting there, I asked him how much, he said a pound, so I picked this up. The case is a little bit battered, to be fair, but the disc is lovely. Um, so I'm hoping good little find there for a pound. Wii Sports all day. I think I had one last week as well, didn't I? So really happy. The case is a bit battered, though. So we'll see how that one goes. So this one was, how much were these? These were... These were three pounds. So she wanted a pound each. gave me four for three pound. I remember now. So this one's quite I'm happy about. Uh, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. So um, I don't have this. I've got it on the Vita, but I don't have it on the PS3. It's, of course, a PS3 exclusive. So I'm going to be keeping hold of that one. So happy days. Adding something to the PS3 collection. Really chuffed with that one. GTA 4 in Platinum. Absolute staple for this. These, these is weird that I picked this up. So the Getaway and the getaway two black monday these are both in really good condition i recently played max Payne, and i was i was into my sort of gangster ps2 third person shooters i gave this a go i have very fond memories of this one growing up it it's not held up very well to be honest with you i was a little disappointed that they're the, the shooting mechanics and the movement were very difficult to get used to. I, I played it for about an hour and I gave up. So it's a shame. I, I don't think I've ever played Black Monday, but these are both in really nice condition, especially this, the uh, Black Monday. You you wouldn't, you wouldn't think this had just came out. It's in lovely condition. But um, yeah, three pounds for those four. Not bad at all. Not bad. So I'll, I'll definitely get a bit back for that. I think the Black Monday goes for a bit more than the first one. So this was £3. He wanted £2 each for these. He said I could have them both for three. Grandpa thought of Vice City. Grandpa thought of Liberty City Stories. Both in lovely condition. They've, they've come from uh, cash converters at some point in time. But I believe they've both got the man. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, OK. Sorry. So Grandpa thought of Liberty City Stories. Lovely. Uh, GTA Vice City is the platinum disc without a manual, which is a shame, but not too bad at all. Three pound for those two. Happy days. Already got those in my collection, otherwise they'd be a keeper. This one was quite good. So he had a little box, uh, 50 pence each, and I got five, yeah, five for two pound. He let me have a freebie, basically. Not in the best condition. These are a little bit battered, to be fair. Um, Dead or Alive 3. Yeah, it's very battered. This is this has come from CX 50p at some point in time. I'm going to have to rebox that one. I'm thinking about keeping this one because I don't have it. And I don't think I've got it on PS2. In fact, I don't think I've got it on anything. So I might be keeping hold of that one. Um, King Kong. This one's worth a little bit on the 360. I don't know why. I just saw it. I thought I'd pick it up 50p and have a go. It's not worth much at all. So that, I think that's a penny or a 10p game. But hey-ho. But can't win everything. This is a good one, though. WWE All-Stars and the PS3. We'll get a good little bit back from that. I like that, this one. I play... Yeah, this is, like, really exaggerated, really over the top. The finishers are really colourful and they, like, fly through the air. It's a, it's a good, good wrestling game, that one is. 
this one I was chuffed about. In fact, these next two I was. Halo 2. This is actually on my list to pick up this year. It's a Xbox OG exclusive. I don't have. I've got an empty case with no disc. 50p. This is in great condition. So I'm really happy to have picked this up. So I'm definitely keeping and I'm ticking the game off the actual list that I made at the start of the year, which feels really good. So Halo 2. Fantastic. I have, of course, played Halo 2 but not for a while. Um, and this is the, another one. Ha Haven, I believe it's called. Call, Call of the King. I saw this on one of the, I mentioned before, this came from Cash Converse at some point in time, 99p. Um, I've mentioned before that I've been looking at a lot of PS2 top 100 games and we're trying to get a good, I'm trying to improve my PS2 collection. This has popped up quite a few times and I had noticed it and thought it looks okay, but I weren't sure whether I wanted to add it or not. But now that I've got it for 50p, I'll be keeping hold of that one. So really happy to have that one. Let's do something a little different. Xbox OG controllers. I got these for £2 each. Weirdly, not off the same person. I got them at two different times. Um, I haven't tested these yet, which I'm just now suddenly realising. I need to have a go. This one does not have the extender that you need to play the Xbox. They're often missing. So just a heads up, if you ever go out and you see an OG Xbox controller, it, it has the, the security breakaway. They're often missing. Um, I did notice that this one was missing. However, I need an OG Xbox controller and I do have a spare one so i'm probably going to trade one in and keep one or keep both but one one of these will definitely be kept and i might need to to put the the extra breakaway cable i've got to trade it in cx but two four pound basically for two og xbox controllers and like i say i hope they work because i haven't actually tried and x og xbox controllers are a bit i find they're a bit hit and miss to be honest with you sometimes they do sometimes they don't you, you're pretty safe with the ps2 controller but not so much those ones Last, well, not lastly, but this one's a little bit different. So these are actually all empty cases. There was a guy, he had lots and lots of games. He won, he was asking far too much for his games. He had a box PS2 as well, which I think he wanted like 50 odd quid for, which fair enough if I knew it was definitely working and what have you. It was a bit, bit groy, but he had, a, he had quite a few games. He had Shaolin, uh, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks uh, for the OG Xbox, which I found, but it, it weirdly it had a Halo 2 disc in it. In hindsight, if I'd have picked that up, I'd have had another copy of Halo 2. But oh, no, because he wanted a ridiculous amount for it either way. It was just saying that word in there. Um, but these were all empty. I asked him how much he wanted for them um, because he, he started collecting up and he kept, I could tell he was going to bid up. I said, I'm a collector and I could probably reuse them. He said two quid, which ain't bad. I'll, usually I'd have said no, but we've got DS, but Mario Kart and Driver Revenge 2, you don't get, don't find many 3DS cases. So spare 3DS cases are good. There's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Just ignore that. But then GTA 5, we're always finding GTA 5. Red Dead Redemption, the uh, Game of the Year edition, it's possible. Hitman, it's possible. And uh, PS3 Essentials, which for some reason everyone wants at the moment. So that might actually come in handy. But for spare, spare cases, we, we've seen in previous episodes, they come in handy. So I picked it up. Two pound for those. Why not? And this is this is the this is the last and the the, the more interesting part. So, I uh, picked up. I can't remember what game it was. I went to a table and there was just one or two games. I picked up. Asked how much for the game. This guy, he was really nice. He was a fantastic salesman. He was really loud. Everyone could hear the conversation we were having. He, um, I asked how much the games. He goes right. You want games? You can help me. I'll help you. There's games over here. He walks over to this box, picks them up out of this box, walks over to me, starts counting them. However many games there are, he goes right. There's there's ten here, nine, something like that. He goes right. Ten pounds. Didn't even give me a chance to see what games they were. Um, I started trying to flick through and I goes, um, uh, I, I weren't going to give him a tenner for them because I saw one or two. I said, would you take five? He said, no. Um, I was like, oh, I'm in an iron because the condition weren't great. Some of these are a bit grubby. In fact, some of these I've already reboxed because again, they were really nasty to the touch. Um, long story short, six pound. I paid him six pound for some games and I wasn't a hundred percent sure what I got off him until I got home. But I saw one or two, so I knew I was safe for my six quid. So this was all one little group bundle. Um, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. This is one that I've re reboxed because this was in nasty condition, but the disc is fine. Just, I don't know where, where it had been sitting for quite a while, but Black Ops 3 on the Xbox One. Happy days. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. We've picked this up so many times, but I noticed um, I don't have it on Xbox One. I've got it on 360 and I've played it. Um, but I think I would like a copy of it on the Xbox One. The di it, it needs a new case. It doesn't close properly. This is one of the, it's not too bad, but compared to some of the others, but it's not great. But the disc is fine. I might be keeping hold of this because I keep trading this in, but I don't have it in the collection, so I might keep hold of it. Another one I've already written. This one was really grubby. You can probably tell from the, from the case here. Um, 
it's um yeah the disc isn't fantastic either i don't know if they'll take this one we're gonna have to see the disc is okay and he's definitely needs to be run through a disc cleaner uh but call of duty ghosts not too bad yeah in here there's fifa look at that look at that all the cases are battered fifa 16 and fifa 18 that'll just be put in a pile somewhere this is halo 3 without front cover just put that to the side that'll be a spare case that case ain't too bad to be fair Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Um, so I've got a copy that I still need to trade in from last week. So hopefully they'll take this with that take that copy this week. And now I've got this copy as well. Uh, it's not too bad. The disc is absolutely fine. The case isn't too bad either. So I picked that up. I think I've recased this one as well already. So I recased quite a few. So that's looking okay. That'll get that that did I say that's the one I saw in there and thought, well, for six quid, I'm not gonna lose. Metal Gear Solid 2. Again, unfortunately, they've done that thing where they've put the stickers on the artwork, which is really annoying. The case isn't too bad. I need to give it a quick wipe, but the discs are absolutely fine, and it's got the manual. So, fantastic game. Fantastic memories with that one. Uh, I'll do, this was a really random one. Germany 2006. That's worth absolutely nothing. It was just in there. This one, I did notice at the time... Um, GTA Vice City, already, is that, yeah, I already got a copy of that this week, but when I opened it, I noticed it's actually GTA 2 on the PS3. This goes for a little bit, so I'm not sure, I might put, if I remember correctly, the disc is actually in half decent condition, yeah, the disc is fine, so it might be a case of trying to sell the disc loose and keeping GTA Vice City as a spare case, I'm not sure, but, you know, I, I noticed it at the time, but you can't go too wrong with a loose copy of GTA 2 on the Xbox, on the, sorry, on the PlayStation 1, can you? Um, so, yeah, look at that, I'm not going to move it all because there's a nice little pile here, but quite a good trip to the car boot. So I'm gonna do that thing. I'm gonna to pop to CX and I'll be back in a minute. Right, so I am back. Couple of days have gone by. We got lucky in areas. We got unlucky in other areas. It all got a bit fidgety this week. I had to sit down and do the math just before I started filming this, make sure I got it all right. But I have got it right. It just got a bit confusing. I'll explain why, but let's do what we do. Start by taking away what everything you saw just cost us, 26 quid. Let's take 26 pounds away. So before we go to receipt, put some stuff up on Vinted. No interest whatsoever, no interest. But I put the same stuff on Facebook Marketplace, which has been pretty dead, loads of interest. I don't know what was going on with Facebook this week, but loads of interest, which is great. So, um, guy showed up to buy Liberty City Stories for four quid. Um, he just pulled his PS2 out of the attic. He, he was really, I spoke to him for a good little while. He, he was a great guy. He just wanted to play he just wanted to play some PS2 and he was looking for some games. Basically, he asked if I had any other games when um, available when he showed up. Look if him I did, I think he was surprised when I said I do. Long story short, Liberty City Story, Vice City, and both the getaway games for £10. Not too bad. We've made a little bit more than CX would have gave us, and he's he's saved some from CX as well. So we both win there. Fantastic, happy with that. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, £3. Not bad, just a pound more than CX would have gave us. This is the guy, he just came and picked it up nice and quick. He saved a couple quid there, not bad. And that copy of GTA 2 on the PS1, sold it for six quid. Um, I know it goes for a lot more if it had a case. I just never could see myself finding that case. So I didn't think it was worth keeping hold of it to make money later down the line. Uh, the guy just saw it on there and just wanted to wanted a bit of nostalgia for it. So I thought, you know what, six quid, why not? Let, let, it's, it's a loose disc, six quid's a good price on there. So six pounds for that. So Facebook Marketplace, we got 19 pounds back from that. So not too bad. So I sold everything on Facebook before I went CX. So I knew exactly what I wanted to get back for it, which is handy. And um, when I was in CX, I've not had this member of staff before. She was lovely, really, really nice, but she was very scrutinous. Don't know if she was new, but she was on top of everything check in absolutely everything which is fair enough it's her job but it didn't help us too much in regards to um the ease of her taking everything shall we say but weren't too bad so how cash wise to get back xbox controller nothing wrong with that got three pound back for that obviously it was the one with the end um met uh grand theft auto uh, four two pounds back for that easy peasy keep this in mind call of duty ghosts two pound okay so in total cx gave us seven pound so 19 and 7 26 pounds fantastic Let's stick 26 pounds all there nice and even so much easier having sold all that stuff on facebook i knew exactly what it is i had to get and i kept in mind i, I separated it so that if she said no to everything i knew to take something out but she didn't say no, any no to any of the three um cash items which made life easier oh sorry but i nearly forgot voucher so voucher wise so remember the turtle beach headsets from the other week they they tested them and said they were just a bit grubby she tested them she was more than happy to take them got 90 pence on a voucher for those 90p and they tested it weren't worth it but 90p minecraft from last week she was happy with that she took that straight away eight pound on a voucher fantastic and wwe all-stars happy with that four pounds on a voucher 
But that was it. So £12.90 on a voucher. Let's not sniff. £12.90 up there. Fantastic. She said no to. So keeping in mind what I just said, she said no. She, she said, <laughs> she took Call of Duty. She said no to Call of Duty. Go, sorry. But it's on there. And here it is here. I got so confused. That's when I had to double check. Um, I think she scanned it through and forgot to take it off. So I've got £2 back. But she said no to it because the case is bad. Uh, which it fair enough is. But yeah, so two quid. And I've still got it in my hand. I'm not going to complain. So that'll be going back next week. She said no to Wii Sports. Disc is fine. But the case is a bit grubby. Which again, it is. But I mean, it's just water damage. So she said no to that. We'll try that again. She said no to Black Ops 3. I'm not sure the reason why. It would have just been a disc condition thing. But yeah, just a small scratch on it. She said no. Fair enough. So <laughs> we've got the Call of Duty Black Ops from last week, which we had with the Minecraft, and the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 uh, for this week. She said no to both of them. Um, so uh, this is annoying, but uh, they have got small scratches on, but I don't, I, don't, I don't agree. They just need to run through the disc clean and they'll be fine. I know that's my opinion because I want to sell them, but there we go. So she said no to these. So there's a big Call of Duty bundle here with the Wii Sports. We've, there's some voucher in there. There's a good amount of voucher to come back. So we'll try again next week. Um, but there's like way over £20 with a voucher there that wasn't taken. So, oh, well, but £20 come back. Anyway, £26 spent, £26 back. That's how we make it for free. Nice and easy. Uh, 12 odd quid on a voucher. Fantastic. And some money to come later in the, later, hopefully next week. Can't complain, can you? And I've still got all this here. So... First things first, I'm just going to move these on. We've got, what have we got here? So these are the empty cases. So we just keep hold of them. Again, just a couple of kids we've played, but the P, uh, the Nintendo 3DS ones, they'll come in handy. And then this was part of the little bundle. Got a couple of FIFA, loose FIFA discs, got the Halo 3 disc, and this was a penny, so they weren't having it. Uh, FIFA World Cup Germany 2006, just stick that to the side. So just a little loose cases there and things like that. What are we adding to the collection? So you'll see, the Xbox controller, absolutely fantastic condition. I had to keep the one which didn't have the end, but I've got spares, so that's fine. That gives me three working, fully working, really good Xbox OG controllers. So I need one more to have a complete set uh, of the four, should should I ever have three friends come around and play it? It's unlikely to be fair, but there we go. So keeping all that, just grab that. There's games over here, which is fantastic. Halo 2, um, it's fantastic, because this was on the list of stuff that I was gonna spend voucher on this year. To find out and about, it is brilliant. Um, yeah, I don't, Halo 2, I know it's not rare, I know it's cheap, but for some reason I've just never come across it in the years. So there it is, I've got it now, glad about that. Uh, Dead or Alive 3, recased it. I double checked, I don't have Dead or Alive 3, I have two and four, don't have this one. I, thought, I gave it a quick go to make sure it worked. The graphics have held up surprisingly well. Controls, not so much, but the graphics, I, I had a good little play on it. it. Yeah, it's a decent little game, so I'm adding that to the Xbox. Um, I don't know I don't know if you can get it on PS2. I assume you do, but I'm, I'm going to keep it on Xbox. I might try to get it on PS2 later down the line. Haven, so again, this just missed out uh, on being on my list this year, so to find out about it's fantastic. Um, yeah, it just missed out on my list, so must have been something about it that looked decent, but not quite good enough, but either way, for 50p. I'm going to keep hold of that, have a little play on it. So that's fantastic. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I've had this a few times, got rid of it a few times. It, you get decent return on it as well. I think you get about five, six pound voucher or something on it. But I just wanted to keep hold of it because it is my favourite um, Assassin's Creed game. I've said this multiple times, but I'm going to keep hold of it finally. Add it into the collection because I, it, it's my favourite. It's a series of love. I should have it on the Xbox One as well as the 360. So fantastic keeping all that. PlayStation All-Stars. Brilliant. I didn't mention, so basically this just got some stick because it, it was... Um, Oh, what's it called? It's written down there. I can't remember what it's called. Smash Brawl. Smash Brothers. That's it. Something like that. Anyway, Smash Brawl. I can see Brawl in the corner. Um, it got some stick for just being a rip off a uh, PlayStation version of that. But I played it. It's okay. It's, it's pretty decent. And it, unfairly judged, I feel. But that's the collection. And of course, my NBA 2K23, which you'll now notice, is not sealed. The disc isn't even in there. It's in the console. I'm playing it. It's decent. It's okay. It's quite, quite a big jump in graphics. So... Yeah, it's, it, it's just like FIFA. There's small increases, in, improvements, sorry, uh, every single year. They're really good. They, they FIFA needs to start doing this, where they make teams, but they build like all-star teams, where they take their best players for every single team. It's really good. It's really, FIFA should start doing it. It'd be much better. But yeah, the, the my career mode, manager mode, things like that. Online, I don't play online too much because I get absolutely battered, same as FIFA, but really enjoying it. Um, yeah. Great, great little bargain there. So yeah, this week we got lucky knowing that the, the Facebook Marketplace sales really helped us because otherwise we wouldn't have had that much on voucher. We got very unlucky with them rejecting as many of the voucher side as we did, but we still got a little bit of voucher. And because the car boots are on, I've managed to get myself a nice little bundle of games, which I'm definitely going to play. Um, well, I'm in the middle of playing that one. I'm going to go back to Dead or Alive 3 as well. Looking forward to that one. 
and a nice little controller. So not too bad, not too bad. Hopefully next week we'll get a lot more voucher to come from this week. So that'll be nice. But thank you very, very, very much for joining me. Take care of yourself, guys.